Over the radio, Warden Bates hears a call go out for her former partner with the local police department. A man living in a camper on public land has been dumping his trash into a nearby stream. Why don't I give him a call and see if he needs some help? We get over there. In the brook, like they're saying he is. I mean, we, we want to get over there. They fish that spot a lot. 2297, the Farmington Mine, statewide. Go ahead. Hey, Ted, we're right near. Do you want us to swing over and give you some help with him? I know he's been aggressive in the past. Yeah, 10 4. 10 4, sounds good. Well, it looks like we're here. Yep, we're here. Officer Ted Neal was my partner when I worked for the Farmington Police Department. Kim. Hello there. Hi. Have you guys been dealing with him a lot recently? On a daily basis. He has had criminal trespass and littering charges before, hasn't he? Yeah. Yep. He is fairly old. How old did you say he is? He's 86. He's a very old gentleman. He's very set in his ways. He was brought to this place that's owned by the town, and he's okay. been throwing trash on the ground and in the stream. Unfortunately, this gentleman is um, a frequent flyer, someone that law enforcement in general has to deal with a lot. We definitely deal with a lot of unusual characters with our job. This is probably some of the largest wilderness next to Alaska. People come here to live off the grid. They just want to get away from people. And they don't like being told what to do. Unfortunately, they do have to abide by some laws. Hey, buddy. Hey, buddy. Yeah, I'd be careful with him. We got a call about uh, that. We always get a call. Why are people calling? I am reading. He's chewing his bone. We well, got concerns about you dumping stuff in the stream. Why is the forest preserved? No, we're not the forest service. We're the main warden service. Chris kindly advised him that we were not forest rangers, that we weren't for the main warden service. We just need you to clean up the mess around here, OK? This is an outrageous, bizarre legal matter, and it must go to one of my several lawyers. As a game warden, it's part of our job to protect the natural resources in the state of Maine. We don't want people just throwing their trash all over the place willy-nilly. It's very clear that there are issues to be addressed here. It smells pretty bad. Did you want to speak with Officer Tanner? Do you think I will speak with Tanner if Tanner comes over? Possibly. There's an officer that I used to work with that works with Officer Neal that, for some reason, he's just able to work with people like this, uh, communicate with them. Did Officer Neal tell you what was going on? Yeah. I know your magic ways with some of these kind of people. They always request you for some reason. He gave me a secret code. Oh, a secret code. OK, perfect. Yeah. Well, I don't know if you'll be able to get him out or not. It's Bill. No worries. It's Bill Tanner. We brought you over here to get you out of that other parking lot. He's saying that this is a public emergency announcement. He called 911 when you're saying he's under siege. Oh my god, are you serious? Oh, he's actually just called 911 and told them that he was under siege from law enforcement. The dispatchers at 911 are very familiar with who he is. We just need you to clean up the mess around here, OK? A little bit of trash down there, if you wouldn't mind picking like, that up. Just, yeah, OK, I'll do it. So what do you think, guys? I've already told him that I was going to try to help him find a more permanent place. Mm -hmm. You know, a nice eighth of an acre somewhere in the woods, he says, would be ideal for him. Well, if you guys need us again, oh, yeah, just let us know. Have a good day, guys. Yep. You too. See ya. Yeah. Thank you. It's nice seeing you again. Stay safe. Yep. You, you too. too. Hopefully this is the last time and he actually learns the lesson, remembers everything. Today, this gentleman ate up a lot of miles on his frequent flyer program.